hello guys welcome back to another video in this video we are going to solve the or question under question number 24 from the CBSC sample question paper 2024 if you have missed out the previous videos do check them out the entire playlist is in the description box below if you want to get notified don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon without further ado let's get started this is a sum of retirement where M is a partner who retired and we have the adjustments that we see generally as a part of a normal retirement sum. We are required to prepare the partner's capital accounts and the balance sheet of the firm after M's retirement. So let's get started and we will pick up the entries as we go along the question all right so the very first thing that i always prefer is doing the calculation for the ratios we have the old psr given which is 2 is to 2 is to 3 and we have the new psr given here which is 2 is to 3 let's come to our working notes the old psr old ratio is 2 by 7 2 by 7 and 3 by 7 the new ratio is 2 by 5 and 3 by 5 and we calculate the gain which is straightforward new ratio minus old ratio we subtract it we get 4 is to 6 which is further reduced to 2 is to 3 this becomes our gaining ratio and when we are doing this we always should try to calculate the firm's goodwill the retiring partner's share of goodwill and the contribution to be made by the gaining partners all right so in the question if you see here this one is already given the firm's goodwill is valued at 5,60,000 all right straight away 5,60,000 M's share of goodwill will be 5,60,000 into his share which is 2 by 7 so 1,60,000 is M's share of goodwill this will be given to him in the gaining ratio by L and N so gaining ratio is 2 is to 3 so let's calculate that 2 by 5 that is 64,000 is to be given by L and 96,000 will be given by N. We'll come to the journal entries for this very soon. After having done this, let's come to the question at the beginning and let's pick it up one by one. So if you see here, we have the liabilities, creditors, bank overdraft, long-term debts. The capital account balances are there. So we have the capital account, we're preparing that let's pick up the balances by balance BD we have 6 lakhs 25,000 then we have 4 lakh and then we have 5 lakhs 25,000 all right then we have employees provident fund no straight away adjustments from here land and building plant and machinery furniture investment stock debtors bank we have deferred advertisement expenses as per the rules you must be aware if you're not then please refresh as per the rules if there are deferred advertisement expenditure that is written off among the old partners in the old ratio right so two deferred advertisement expenditure this one so we write that here and then the entry comes into picture let it be like this let's distribute that in the old ratio so we get 70,000 to be distributed in the ratio 2 by 7 so into 2 by 7 we get 20,000 20,000 here as well and the remaining 30,000 comes here all right so this becomes our values for the deferred advertisement expenditure so from the balance sheet straight away items have been picked up Mo let's moving on we have M retiring and these are the adjustments we have now if you see these we have the land and building the revaluation items right however if you see at the end the gain on revaluation is already given so if you don't read the question till the end you might end up preparing a revaluation account in the working notes and end up losing time 
this is given here at the bottom straight away we will pick this gain and distribute that among the partners so that comes as by revaluation account right that's why it's very very important to read the question entire question first so that you don't miss out so that comes as 1 lakh 5000 into 2 by 7 revaluation profit is also distributed in the old ratio among the old, old partners okay and last one is into 3 by 7 that 45000 entire 1 lakh 5000 is distributed okay these items we would need when we will be preparing our balance sheet we have to keep that in mind now if you see here land and building to be appreciated a revaluation item will not come in the capital account 50 percent of investments were taken by the retiring partner at book value right for that the journal entry is retiring partner who is m here m's capital account debit to investments account right so here we write to investments account 50 percent of the investments are taken over at book value so 1 lakh 50 percent of that is 50,000 50,000 comes here all right so this one is done number C that we have is also a revaluation item it will straight away come in the balance sheet the stock will be valued at market price which is also a revaluation item will come in the balance sheet the goodwill item we have now let's complete the goodwill entry so as you know the retiring partner will be given his share by the gaining partner the journal you must be aware so retiring partners capital account is credited and the gaining partner capital account is debited right so 2 M's capital account right so you write the amount that we have already calculated here in the workings which is 64,000 and 90,000 96,000 so 64,000 is for L and 94,000 is 96,000 is for M N right this will be N alright so 96,000 this one is done and coming to the credit side let's complete the posting for that as well by that comes here by else capital account and by ends capital account that will be posted to M's column which is 64,000 and 96,000 all right so goodwill entry is done as well this one is done E is done for the capital accounts the total capital of the new firm will be 32 lakhs which will be proportion which will be in proportion of profit sharing ratio of L and N so let's come to a working note one more time right so similarly straight away we can write else capital or closing capital will be how much which is 32 lakhs into his new share which is 2 by 5 so that comes to how much 12 lakh 80 thousand all right similarly ends closing capital will be how much that will be the same amount into 3 by 5 which is 19 lakh 20 thousand so when we have the closing capital we straight away go to the capital accounts and we write them as to balance CD because that's already given no confusion straightforward don't make it too complex so two balance CD will be only for L and M 
because they are the existing partner the continuing partners so we have 12 lakh 80 thousand and 9 lakh 20 thousand 9 lakh 20 thousand right 19 lakh 20 thousand so here will be these are done balance sheet is achieved however this the sum is not complete yet because we have to now close the accounts and find out the amount which is due to m how much m is going to take at the end of the all these adjustments since the question is silent about the money which is due to m straight away as per the rules that goes to m's loan account no confusion should be there about that all right so let's find out how much is going to M's loan account. Let's do the straightforward calculation. Same thing is for here as well. All right. So having done that, now if you calculate the balance, for M, how much are we getting? We have five lakh ninety thousand here, minus seventy thousand that we have got here. So that comes to, okay. Let's do the calculation one more time. Five lakh ninety thousand here, minus this seventy thousand that we have got here that comes to five lakh twenty thousand all right so that is the amount that will be going to m's loan account however don't forget we have to close l and n's account as well because we have to tally both the sides now they have decided to have the closing capital as 12 lakh 80 and 19 lakh 20 so there must be a difference and since again the question is silent that will be adjusted via bank account so any shortfall they are bringing in so as you can see here we already can see a shortfall which is this amount minus this amount so again we have to redo the calculation one more time which is this amount minus this and minus this seven lakh nine thousand similarly same for this we have now there will be nothing for M let's come in let's come to N and so we subtract both the amounts so these are the amounts that they are supposed to bring in all right seven lakh nine thousand will be brought in by L and fourteen lakh seventy six thousand will be brought in by N so that they can have this agreed capital in their agreed ratio now this completes our partners capital account let's move on to the balance sheet one by one and again we will follow the balance sheet which is given to us already in the question let's go there the first item that we have is creditors all right so there has been no change nothing is mentioned about creditors the creditors balance remains the same so it's 80,000 okay comes to bank overdraft again no mention amount remains the same all right then we have long-term debt right again no mention about that so that also remains the same as 2 lakhs okay then we have capital accounts and capital accounts will put the new figures here okay let's put that for L we have this amount 12 lakh 80 thousand and for N we have 19 lakh 20 thousand. So 
so we mention that here the total comes outside which is coming to 32 lakhs all right then the next item that we have got is employees provident fund that also comes into the balance sheet as it is 38000 all right don't forget m's loan account just now we did here so m's loan of 5 lakh 20 thousand that also comes here all right let's do the calculation correct it so the total that we are getting on the liability side is 40 lakh 60 thousand all right let's check what do we get on the asset side let's pick up one by one land and building that we have here the amount given is 5 lakh however as per this it is appreciated by 2 lakh 40 thousand right so simply 5 lakh plus 2 lakh 40 is 7 lakh 40 thousand okay next we have machinery machinery is 2 lakh 50 thousand however there is a depreciation of 10 percent 10 percent means 25 thousand so just subtract 25 thousand from 2 lakh 50 that gives you 2 lakh 25 thousand okay that is done as well machinery is complete let's move on to furniture furniture is there any mention about furniture anywhere nothing is mentioned right so furniture remains as it is this method really makes things easy then we have investments 50,000 worth of investments were taken over by the retiring partner so remaining investments remain in the balance sheet which is 50,000 coming to stock as per the adjustments given here stock is valued at 1 lakh less right so straight away we write stock as 3 lakhs no confusion if you see here this is the one about stock that we have inculcated here moving on to debtors debtors we have created a provision so let's write the amount in the inner column then less provisions that we have created right so that comes to 10,000 as you can see 5% on debtors 5% of 2 lakh is 10,000 right so we write 2 lakh minus 10,000 outside 1 lakh 90,000 is what we have got here all right and we have bank 20,000 deferred advertisement would not come as we've already distributed that written off written that off among the partners the last item that we have is bank and here the amount already given is 20,000 don't forget we have the partners brought in some money how much did they bring in let's have a look so we have to add that seven lakh nine thousand plus fourteen lakh seventy six thousand so if you add that that gives you the entire total let's check that if we are getting the same total let's add these and yes that gives us the same total so 40 lakh 60 thousand my balance sheet tallies and the sum is complete as well this method really helps because you don't have to hunt for information every time you pick up one item and you do it end to end complete the entire adjustment that really makes life easy we'll catch you all in the next video if this really makes it easy hit the like button and stay tuned for more videos in this series thanks for watching guys